continuing on with our staff development on this, uh, we've already looked at an overview of what NCY's OWL is. We've taken a look at all of the links, the blue links on the left hand side. Now let's take a look at some of the blue links that are at, featured at the top of the page. Um, the training, uh, it lists different recorded webinars that train in more detail about specific databases. Uh, so I know I'm not going into a whole lot of detail about a lot of these databases, um, but if you click on some of these links here, it'll be a specific um, video that you can watch that records um, workshops and informational sessions that would train you on how to use those resources a little bit better. Um, there's also a, a tech support page um, which gives you some registration information and further information as you need that. Uh, also found below is a link for SAS, uh, which says Curriculum Pathways. Uh, this is a great resource um, for some different information. Uh, you have to sign up for a free account and explore um, some of these resources. It appears, uh, as I look through it, that the majority of the resources are for high school levels, uh, but there appears to be some very high quality resources that you could use within the classroom as instructional tools, especially for 7th and 8th grade. Um, and a lot of these would be really great if you had a smart board or computer that was hooked up to a document camera. Again, I'll show some more specific ones as we get a little bit further, but right now I'll just click on one of these so you can kind of get an idea of what there is. Actually, I'll probably need to log in first, um, so promise not to look right now. So now that I'm logged in, um, I checked on science and it shows some different science activities that can be done. Um, and so I just clicked on one that looked interesting to me and hopefully it'll show up. And so it's got a short video here that you can play. And so I'm not going to play the whole video there, but you can see that it has a, a video instruction that would be really good for the students to use. Um, and then it's got some other resources that you can use as well. Uh, so if I go past that video, it's got all these great graphs and different activities that we can do. Um, and it goes through and gives different questions and the students give a chance to answer. Um, but again, this is geared more for probably high school level, but there's some great resources for um, also 7th and 8th grade. So if I was a teacher in one of those grade levels, I'd definitely spend some time checking these resources out. Uh, so that was the SAS tab. And so that kind of gives an overview of some of the tabs, uh, the blue tabs there. Uh, but there's also some links in the middle of the page. Uh, some of the highlighted ones uh, is this one here, the featured website. And so if you click on the featured website, it actually goes through by months uh, and gives, well, it's not June anymore. And so we'll, you can see events for July, which no school, so not really too much of an issue. But as we come back to school in August, we can see uh, hurricane season. So there's some information there. Uh, it's National Park Month, so some information there. Some great resources, it looks like, for science teachers. I know we have to link to um, financial literacy in math, so this could be a good uh, National Investors Month there. That could be a good link as well. Uh, so let's head back to that page and look at some of the other clips. There's a place for art teachers to submit their work, or we could see what artwork uh, other teachers are doing within um, the state. One of the highlights is this primary resources document um, and we'll take a look more at that in the social studies page. 